Hey gang, it's Ark. Well, misery is here. Um, I already did a little bit of this on stream, and based on that experience, I want to add a bit of a twist to it. So we're going to do Outer Misery. Um, I'll explain the exact rules for this in a minute, but for right now, uh, let's get into our spawn here. You always start at the same place for this challenge. Uh, the Draft Dodger's Cabin in Pleasant Valley. Burned down. Ooh, and the hacksaw oh, is here. Lucky day. Yeah, lucky day indeed. Um, now, full disclosure, I just restarted the game about ten times until I got that spawn. So the deal is, they use the interloper loot tables for this mode. But I'm guessing they overlooked the fact that they put the spawn point right next to one of the potential hacksaw locations. So you can just restart until you get that hacksaw. Now, it's not necessary, right? Um, I didn't have to do that. And in fact, you might be thinking, wow, it's really cheesy to do that. And you know what? I agree with you. And if this were normal misery, I definitely wouldn't go to all that trouble. Um, but I feel like I have a good reason for this. So let me see if I can explain that as we make our way up to the plane crash. So the challenge that we're going to be doing is basically Outer Loper, but in the um, Misery universe. Let's check this body. So normal Outer Loper spawns um, in places all over the map. Forlorn Muskig, Mountain Town, Hush River Valley, um, even Timberwolf, Desolation Point. There's a lot of options here. Normally what you can do is you can go to some place where there is either matches or a flare. I hate being cold or I really do. Multiple um multiple flares. And that's how you get your run started. Uh, but Pleasant Valley is fairly unique in that there is no guaranteed spot for that. So you pretty much just have to spawn in and run around and hope you find God, matches freezing. in like a car somewhere and so you run around for 20 minutes and then eventually you die and you start over and you do that again and again until you get lucky well that didn't sound like very much fun to me so instead i'm going to do an extremely ambitious start here i'm going to attempt to go all the way into timberwolf and check two of the spots where matches can spawn there now these matches aren't technically guaranteed either but I'm checking two of three places where the matches will spawn in at least one of those three spots. So I have a 66% chance of success. And so basically the reason I wanted to restart for the hacksaw is because I figure I'm already leaving enough up to RNG with this crazy start. Um, with the matches. So I don't want to also run the risk that I don't have a hacksaw. Um, and I think th it's actually fairly likely that you find a hacksaw in Timberwolf somewhere. Oh, that's nice. Hockey jersey. I'm not going to put anything on unless we find gloves because it doesn't really matter since we're cold. Oh, this is good. I said I wasn't going to put that on. That's just wasted time. Hope nobody needs okay. this anymore. This is actually a really good spawn. Um, I mean, it's not... Like, this isn't the most amazing clothing that I've ever found here. But to get the hacksaw and get really good clothing... Uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's check the last few suitcases here. I'm not going to take the time just to search the overhead compartments. Um, I just don't have the time. And it's pretty low chance of reward. This stuff will come in I handy. guess I should go check up here real quick. Okay. Oh, we did get another toque. Nice. Okay, let me just make sure. Yeah, negative 13. No way I put all that clothing on and get warm, so I already checked that. Okay, let's go. I need to really move. Now, this start is not going to be easy. Um, if the matches are in the first place I look, 
I may have a pretty decent start. But if they're in the second spot I look, I will probably get hypothermia. Um, which is not going to be pleasant. So I have no idea how this is going to go. Now, as we travel over towards the um, transition here, well, first of all, I need to talk about this hunting blind. There's a very small chance that we get a bedroll here. I think it's like 1 in 12. Because <laughs> it's on one loot table and it can be in three different spots. So, uh, we'll check it. This would be, I mean, this would be an amazing spawn if we got it. We did not. We didn't get gloves, right? Yeah, so we'll probably get frostbite as well. So this is not the best spawn you could get by a long shot, right? Like, you could just, if you really wanted to, for some reason, you could just restart the game over and over again until you get the hacksaw and the bedroll and all the clothing and the, and the gloves. But, you know, obviously we're not taking it to that extreme. Just doing just enough to have a reasonable chance. Okay, I need to start saving my energy because we need to climb. I need to see how much sprint. Yeah, I need to not spend any sprint. I might have messed it up a little bit there, in fact. Yeah, I should have saved more earlier. Imagine we found matches. That would actually be insane. I found matches just in one of these... I checked this, right? One of these uh, random containers along the way. This is the last chance, I think. Oh, we found something. It just wasn't matches. All right. Let's move. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of a shortcut here. Um, I really don't wanna get a sprain, but I wanna save as much energy as possible. So we're gonna take a little bit of a risk here. I think I need to run a little bit. And then we just grab that before we get a sprain. Okay, perfect. This is a really good start. Now I just need to move. I've got my start, now I'm just racing against hypothermia and frostbite. Okay, we're gonna pick up sticks on the way, when they're easy. I'm not gonna go too far out of my way for any individual stick. I'm gonna go ahead and run down to low energy here, and then we'll do a lot of walking. It's the most efficient way to do that. I am also using a speedrunning technique called toggle sprinting to save some of my energy. It uh, basically allows me to travel a little bit farther faster by turning the sprint on and off. I'm, I doubt this would be possible without using that. So um, I'm trying to be as upfront about everything that went into making this start possible because I don't want anyone to watch this and think, oh, you know, you just do these things and you can make it all the way to the spot that I'm going to here. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is a lot more interesting than just starting over and over until you find matches in a car somewhere. And um, I'm actually kind of hoping that we get the start with hypothermia because I'm really curious how that'll go, like how bad it'll be to have hypothermia and have to recover from it, because we'll have to recover before we can summit. Oh, this wind could be really bad. I have frostbite risk. Yeah, I do. The problem with the wind is it slows my movement speed, and that's going to cause me to uh, take a lot longer to get there, which is going to mean that I'll get hypothermia sooner. Fortunately, it looks like we're going to be traveling obliquely to the wind, so it shouldn't impact us too much. I'm going to grab a stone or two in case we need it for the moose. Ah, I had full energy there. That was a mistake. need to be using my energy to sprint.
Alright, I will grab a little bit of birch bark along here. But speed is the most important thing. Now let's grab these two pieces. And some sticks. And this. And now we just move, I think. Should I take this? No, we can do that later. Almost certainly see that sapling again on the way out. Plus I'll probably find a much larger collection of them later on. Okay, it might be birch bark down here, I think. Yep. There's one piece. Alright, I'm resisting the urge to look at my hypothermia and frostbite risks. But you can see, even with the toggle sprinting, I've already used up 75% of my energy. And we're not really even close to the forest cave, which is the first location where you might be able to get a... Um, And check here for an additional hacks on. Oh. Um, Forest Cave is the first location where you might be able to get matches, is um, what I neglected to say there. Here's something over there. Yeah, wolf eating a rabbit. We're going to step into this, this um, fishing hut briefly, just in case there are gloves. I think it's only ever a hat, but I'd love to get gloves and at least prevent the frostbite. Yeah, it's always a hat, probably. Piece of wood. I'm not gonna... Mm, I could get matches, maybe. I guess it's worth it to spend a minute searching here. More soup. Sewing kit is actually a really good find. Okay. Oh yeah, and we need some tinder, so we gotta stop here. Yeah, I actually do need to take this path just to get the tinder. I've gotta remember that if I end up having to redo this. I think there's a fairly good chance that this is going to take multiple attempts. But I would love to get this on the quote-unquote first try. Not counting the uh, restarts for the hacksaw. Alright, this is the last cat tail I'm going to grab. Okay, now we just need to make move. I think I can make it to the forest cave. I think the other version is going to 100% give me hypothermia. So we just have to hope that the matches are in the forest cave. Let's grab these. Okay, now this is where I'll first be in serious danger of wolves. That deer is not running from me, it's running from that wolf. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna try to thread the needle between these two wolves. That one's got a deer going after, or got a deer that it's chasing. So we'll try to stay a little bit further away from that one. If I can do this completely undetected, it'd be great. But I've also got to run. And I think we just need to run and hope for the best. And I don't even know if I have time to devote to this, but I'm going to go ahead and stop here and grab the um, tea and coffee from this container. Grab this while we're here. Oh, this wind is going to be brutal for getting over to that cave. I wonder if I should change direction and just go to the other one. This takes so long. I opened the wrong one. Well, we got to do both of them anyway, I guess. Maybe this guy has matches and it saves us? Please? No. Okay. Well, all we can do is move. There's no point in really checking 
to see how close the risk I mean it's got to be almost there I might even get hypothermia before we get to this cave definitely gonna kick in before we get to the other one the other cave is so far away from here as you can see the start is almost impossible um, to pull off with the strategy that I'm trying to do it with Okay, moment of truth. They are not here. Alright, I'm gonna grab these. And we're just gonna keep moving. I'm guessing we get hypothermia before we get to the log bridge. And we're gonna get frostbite, which is gonna be annoying. Now, one interesting thing to point out is it's probably warm enough that I could have thrown all those nice clothes on that I found and warmed up in the back of that cave. Not like a lot, but I could have slowly warmed up a bit and gotten rid of some of my hypothermia risk before doing this final stretch. But I'm doing a kind of extreme version of Outer Loper where you can't use the backs of caves. And I'll talk about that a bit. I just um, I need to focus on where we're going here. I'm actually really surprised. Did I already? No, I'm about to get it. We're going to be down to like 20% health once we get to the other cave. And who knows, maybe it won't have the matches either. I might get the unlucky version of this. Oh, it's so far. Interesting, though, that if they had just been in the first location, I would have been set. They could have um, warmed up. I'm freezing. There's the hypothermia. Okay, let's quickly run out the last of our energy, because it's going to leave anyway. And then we're just going to be walking. We're going to be down to, like, 10%. Okay. Now we're exhausted, freezing, hypothermic. Slowly walking to our doom. I'm kind of tempted to get those rabbits because we're going to have quite a bit of time to spend to get rid of this hypothermia. The crazy thing about this is, even if we make it to the cave and are still alive, there's still no guarantee that we survive this. Because there may not even be matches there. There is a... I have to make sure I don't um, mess this up. I believe there's a two-thirds chance that there are matches there now. Based on... Um, the Monty Hall problem. No, that's wrong, right? Yeah, that's wrong. It's still just a one-third chance. I can't believe I made that mistake. Don't try to do math while... <laughs> Wall recording. You only make a fool of yourself. Fifty percent chance. It's a fifty percent chance now. See what I mean? Okay, looks like we're gonna make it. 
We'll have health. See, this would never be viable in Outer Nogoa. But the nice thing about this mode is you actually do get health regen for the, um, you know, at least for the first portion of the run. So you can actually afford to do these absolutely crazy risks. Lose a ton of condition. Because as long as you stabilize, you know, in a few days we'll be, we'll be back up to full health. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. 50-50 shot. Do we have matches? I don't see them. I do see them. Sweet. Okay. Um, let's quickly light the torch. Oh, first of all, what's the temperature in here? Negative two. Okay, so we can actually just warm up immediately. Like that, I think. Yep. Okay. And because of that, I'm going to need water, right? We just got this soda. Um, I'm thinking about... Yeah, I think I need the fire, regardless. Okay. Let's try to do this efficiently. So we're going to use this so we don't waste any matches. I'm going to get this started with a book. Actually, yeah, it's fine. We'll just burn the book. Need to remember to save 15 sticks for a snow shelter. That's the only way I can sleep here. We definitely need to sleep this hypothermia away. So let's see how many sticks I have. Alright, so I'm going to burn... Let's say three hours worth. Let's put this torch out. Let's make sure we have one bad torch. Okay, we got a pry bar. I'm losing health right now. Um, I actually got a lot of food. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's make some water. And let's see how we're doing as far as clothing. Um, Man, I could eat anything. I have no cloth, so we're going to have to do a bunch of ripping up of stuff. Okay, so let's harvest this. I think I'm going to use this water that I'm making to make teas. So let's go ahead and drink some sodas. Harvest this. Um, obviously, we don't need sports socks. That's three pieces of cloth. Probably use one of these bad shirts. Yeah. Take this one down. Okay, four pieces of cloth. We just need one more. Um... I will find more socks, so if there's nothing else I want to tear down, I could do that. Um, everything else is really good. The shirt? It's either the shirt or the socks. 
I know I'm going to get more wool socks soon, so I think it just comes down to which of these gives more warmth. And this gives a little more warmth right now. So we take the socks. Okay, let's check the water, the fire duration. That's done. Let's make one more batch of water. Let's throw a piece of fur on here. Now, I don't think I'm going to bother building the snow shelter near the um, fur over there, because I don't think I'm going to have time to harvest that anyway. I think we're just going to go for some place around here. Assuming I can find a spot. Should be lots of spots around here. Okay, there's a spot. That's fine. We'll just do it there. 45 minutes. That's fine. Health is continuing to go down from exhaustion. But now we have a place to sleep. Simple. All right, let's uh, let's take this down to about an hour. Okay, that should be good. Let's make one more batch of water. So I just realized I probably need to take one more off. Okay, that should be fine. Let's put this out. Time to get some sleep. Um, now. What's the temperature? You know what? We're so warm in here. It's like 13. It should be a lot more than that. I need to heal, so I'm just going to assume that we'll be good for 10 hours. This might be a little risky. We have good clothing. We're in a snow shelter. We're going to get plus three from the snow shelter. I need to take a risk. Um, and yeah, the fire is just going to go out. So we're going to get food for a long sleep. And we're just going to go for it. I'm going to eat these since they're perfectly safe right now. I really need this massive heal. Ow. Herbal tea. Um... Yeah, let's make that before we sleep. Forget that. Cook herbal tea. And what can we do for 10 minutes? Prepare some birch bark to use in the morning. Should have enough time to do one more. Okay, that might finish. Might not. Alright, moment of truth. Let's drink some water. And let's see if we survive a 10 hour sleep. We do. I think we're in good shape with this run. Feels like 16, so it'd have to be it'd have to get quite a bit colder over the course of the night. This spot is kind of unique. Very nice. Okay, so we're back up to half health. Let's see how our hypothermia is progressing. Um, 11 hours. Okay, so basically we can wait around for a bit and then sleep another 10 hours and then this will be gone. And it'll be um, actually be perfect time to move on. Okay, so let me see if there's some stuff I can work on here. Oh, I gotta make sure... Yeah, the problem with sleeping another 10 hours is... It feels like 4 degrees in here now. Well, I really didn't pick up a lot of stuff to work on. I don't think we can read while we're hypothermic. So 
So if it blizzards, the temperature goes down by 10 degrees. But it's going to get warmer as the day progresses. So if it feels like 7 while I'm asleep, the only way I would die is if it immediately blizzarded as soon as I start sleeping. Actually, what we can do, since I don't have anything else to do, let's just sleep for an hour now. Let me just make sure that the hypothermia... It does say 10 hours now. Hmm, I think I just need to go for it now. Let's eat this. This is about to get dangerous, so we'll eat it now while it's safe. All right, let's just go for it. Another 10 hours. This might be a little bit on the risky side. I don't hear a blizzard, so we should be perfectly safe. Okay. Lucked. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't get to sleep the full amount. I thought with um, hypothermia, you could sleep as long as you wanted. Okay, so I did it wrong. I should have waited for the... Um, should have waited for the... for the fatigue meter to drop down a bunch. Wow, look how cold we are in here. It was like negative two in here last night, and it's already down to negative 10 when we're not in the shelter. All right, well, we're really just killing time here. I've got to, I've got to cure this hypothermia. I can't risk going out to where I'll actually get cold. Um, Wish I'd brought, like, a rabbit with me, but we were already cutting it really close. Ah, there's just nothing to do. I mean, I guess I have... I have six tinder. We're about to get some accelerant and stuff. I guess I'll craft up a tinder or two. Just to be extra safe. I'm going to need to make more water. So, what does it say? Four hours. And I'm going to need four hours of sleep pretty soon here. Okay, so that's the notification that I'm entering the first stage of misery. Hardship. So we have diminished form and hypothermia. But diminished form, this is the less stamina, carrying capacity reduced. Okay. I need anything right about now. So we can now only carry 25 kilos. Oh, and that's going to be particularly brutal. Because we can't get the tech backpack on this run either. Alright, I just need to sleep. Because my stamina is going down so fast. I just need to sleep this last hour. That should cure my hypothermia completely. We can finally move on and do stuff. With full energy. Alright, perfect. Hypothermia is healed. Um, let's go ahead and get a fire started. I need to... Um... Make some birch bark teas before we go. So that I can stay warm on the trip. Uh, let's burn up some of these tinder first. I have so much cedar. I actually have a lot of fuel. I think I did it. I think I got a run started. I I wasn't sure if this was even going to be possible. I love the fact that you can get hypothermia and Come actually recover from it. Because that really expands the possibilities for a start here. Oh yeah. All right, let's just throw like a piece of cedar on, some sticks, probably good enough. 
All right, I'm gonna do a couple of things. First of all, we're gonna make some tea. And uh, these are really heavy, right? The peaches, so I'm gonna do the soup because it's on the lower side of condition and one of the peaches. We'll get some more food in our upcoming travels here. Okay, I don't need that junk torch. I already looted that. This weather looks really good. We need to move. Um, I want to repair this just to make sure it stays in really good condition. And I should make more teas and stuff. And I think I'll do it at the next fire. Let's just move now because this is really good travel weather. I think I'll make, like, a coffee at the next fire. Plus, we'll have more time to cook, because we'll need to warm up more. We don't really need to warm up right now. Um, let's eat this first. Okay, then we'll grab that. I'm not going to worry about the rest of the fuel. Let's just go. Uh, now, the direction I want to travel <laughs> is this way. Okay, so we're going straight to the summit, I guess. I didn't really think this far ahead, because I didn't think I was going to make it this far. Um, but I have nearly full energy, and I have coffee that I can make. So the version of Outer Loper that I'm doing, I really hope I'm not repeating myself here, but I'll put a link down in the comments to a post by Got Milk or Not on Reddit um, about all the different versions of Outer Loper. And I'm going to be doing a version that's very similar to Got Milk's um, true, true Outer Loper, where you really can't go in any of the indoor spots, even um, the back of caves that give um, Hours indoors, in addition to their nice warmth, bo um, warmth boosts. So I'm going to take that to the extreme and say I cannot have any amount of... Um, sorry, i got to focus on this goat for a second here. We're avoiding um, rope climbs here to save energy. Um, so for my version of this, I'm going to keep hours indoors at zero. So that means I'll be extremely limited even in my ability to use transitions. Um, so probably the only transition I'll use... Oh my goodness, I messed this up. i got to go back and start over. All right, I need to focus. Um, give me a second here. Let's eat this. I don't really, like, I don't absolutely have to stay warm, obviously. Um, just nice to... Okay, so let's go up here. Come back and redo this. Yeah, this is the part that I have to run. Because I don't want to get a sprain along here. And we got to get up on this little lip. Alright, now it's easy from here. Okay, so the the only indoor tr transition I'll probably use for this run is the, um, the cave from... Or the mine from Pleasant Valley to <laughs> Pistol Highway. Right, because you kind of have no option if you want to get from the northeast of the map to the sort of central map area. Uh, but then I probably won't use any of the other transitions. Um, and that'll give me a little bit of time that I can spend in a cave just for, like, looting stuff. Like, if I want to grab the matches from the backs of some of the caves or a little bit of coal here and there. Um, but yeah, if you want more more info on the exact rules for the different versions of Outer Lipper, check out that um, Reddit post, and I'll link to that.
I don't think that wolf was after me. Oh, I never got frostbite. Huh. Okay, so we still have to worry about uh, potential frostbite. Probably not going to be as much of an issue because now I can just have a fire. Now, if I wanted to summit very quickly, I could go up there, but I think I'm going to go check out the deer clearing cave. So I don't think I'm ever coming back here after this summit trip. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time and just spend coffee to make up for it. Is it possible to do this climb without any coffee at all? But um, I want to check these containers and the deer clearing cave. Or, well, actually, maybe I can't go into the back of the deer clearing cave. Hmm. Yeah, that coal is probably at the back of the cave, so maybe I skip that. Maybe I'll just grab the stuff from this container, and then we'll just take the shortcut up to the top. Um... That's cold already. Okay, so we got some more soup. And I think this one contains, like, cloth and metal or something. This is all based on the interloper loot. So, yeah, it seems to be the same. Oh, that's a lot of cloth. That's actually pretty handy. Um, this wolf is going to be a pain. Find some place to escape this cold. All right, let's just get a good torch now. Like a 41%. It'll hold me for a while. I love how, like, I know this mode is going to be really hard later on. But I love how right now I'm like, oh, I'm going to get cold, but it's okay. We'll recover that health. <laughs> and just kind of take it easy. Let myself get cold for a bit. Then we'll... Have a fire to warm up. Do I? If I don't, we'll warm up soon. So on my stream, we did the first five days. I kind of ended up passing time in a cave to try to get the second affliction to trigger, but it never did even when I got to day, well, it was did day six, so five days survived. So is it possible that it doesn't trigger until day ten? That seems a little far into the game. Um, I, I don't know. I guess we'll... We'll find out together, although Sometimes. by the time I make it that far, I'm sure many people will have made it to that point, and you guys will probably know when exactly those afflictions will trigger. This looks like it's turning nasty, so yeah, I'm going to try to get into the shelter here and start a little fire here. Here we can um, get our coffee made. Why didn't that work? Wow, you're upset about that. I should probably just be using the book, right? Because we're cold. Come on, little fire. Yeah, I don't care about the... The books. We're not going to be um, reading books in... Come on, little fire! In this mode. I mean, maybe it was just normal misery, but not for outer misery. Alright, let's throw a bunch of sticks on here. Let's see what the temperature is first. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Maybe I should have checked for that coal. Um, maybe we'll check for some river coal on the way out of here. Okay, I actually need to be a little careful with um, fuel. Let's throw this reclaimed on here. I do have a lot of cedar saved up. Let's see how that does for temperature. Go and get um, some coffee going. Oh, we need water first. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It looked like it might be going full blizzard. Uh, I just hope this keeps us for a while. Now we might be getting even colder now. Yeah, 
I'm going to have to burn so much fuel on here now. Maybe I'll even harvest some stick or er, torches. Nah, not that desperate. Yeah, I'm just going to make this as hot as possible. That way if it does blow out, we'll at least get warm quickly. Yeah, 12 degrees, that'll be fast enough. Now, I don't think I picked up any other tea ingredients. Let's just make another bundle of tinder. Those are all high condition, so we'll do peaches. Let's just get all these down and have them ready to go. I don't really think I have anything to do. I haven't done a good job of picking up ingredients and stuff. Oh, sure getting cold. So let's just start passing time. Grab that. I really wish I had a second can, but we're going to work with what we have here. Happy to just burn through this coffee. I think I might end up eating. Let's go and eat this cattail stock. There's going to be food at the summit. I could starve. I wonder if I should starve. It feels cheesy, but... I can always starve later if things get really bad. I think we'll be okay. I don't think I have enough water for another coffee, right? Nope. So we have to make another batch of water. Ah, the blizzard ended. All right. Um, in that case, let's make one last coffee. Let's get these going. That was a short blizzard. Pretty lucky. Okay. So those will all be ready in 10 minutes. Let's grab some torches. Now, the way climbing works, you climb more efficiently the more energy you have. So, it's best to use all of these coffees as early as possible. That'll give me the most boost overall for the whole climb. Okay, all that stuff is ready. We're just waiting for that. Three minutes. And let me see how I'm doing on... I got plenty of carry weight, so I'm just going to keep pulling torches off of here. Um... I don't know, I guess if I was in dire straits at some point, I could tear these down, but we still have a fair amount of fuel. Eventually, we'll get to some places where we can get some outdoor coal. And then we'll have a stash to use when we run on hard times. Alright, we don't need more torches than that. Have all of these... I'm going to stay on the high ground here because we won't have to climb as far if we grab the rope from high up.
going to drink one coffee. I'm probably going to drink all three of these before I start this climb. We'll see. Let's do a brief run across here just to make sure we don't get a sprain. And we'll stop here for a second. Let's drink one more coffee. How much energy do I have? Yeah, I think it's probably best to just drink all of it right now. I know we're wasting the warming up buffs, but um, I just want to maximize my energy. Now, we could easily do this with less energy, but I'm just... um. Yeah, I guess if I think about it, I'm not sure exactly why I'm doing it this way. Because it's not like it's the end of the world if we end up tired at the summit. I guess it'll be really bad for my carry weight. But we're going to have more coffee up there too, so I don't really care about spending some coffee. Try to get some more sticks to replenish in case we get bad weather again. Okay, now um, I'm going to take this shortcut across the back of the mountain because in these rules, right I can't even walk through that transition cave. Um, now there is a way to get up here without doing this mess. You could um, go over to the... Um, What's it called? Eric's Falls, I think? You go over to that cave. Uh, but I know this route pretty well because I've practiced doing the quick summit on Loper. I'm going to run a little bit to get up here without a sprain. Get onto flat ground. Okay, let's take a second to take stock here. I want to eat that food while it's still hot. And possibly drink another tea. Um, peaches are hot. And let's go and drink this birch bark tea. Oh. Maybe later. don't want to spray in because I just realized I never crafted bandages. It'd be a huge pain. Still hot. I'm going to drink it. Yeah, there's no way we're going to make a fire before we get to the tail section. We don't really care about losing a little bit of health here and there, so... Now, I've got plenty of energy. Let's loot this little area around here. I'm considering going to check that little cave area that's nearby. There's a ptarmigan spawn point there. There'll be ptarmigans up top too, but um, I probably want all the attempts I can get. We can get um, three ptarmigans early on, and we can go ahead and craft both of my insulation items. And that'll be really powerful. Feels really glitchy right now. Mm, cave is right there. Let's go check it out. We're gonna take a little bit of extra cold damage. Once I actually get to the summit, I can sprint. Starting to feel numb.
Okay, where are the ptarmigans, though? I hear them. Should be right there. See that deer? Oh, I could grab that deer meat. I actually really like that idea. Okay. So let's, uh... Let's take this slow. We'll drop that. Grab this. I've never felt so cold in my life. Light this. Drop that. <laughs> Get a stone out. Okay. Where are the ptarmigans? They're right here. If you don't know, um, dropping the torch from the inventory like that is silent. So you don't scare the ptarmigans away. Oh my goodness. Wait, I hid him, right? There he is. Wait, what? Whoa, that was weird. Okay, so I just realized something. We're at 96% frostbite risk. Because I realized that my hands weren't gloved. We're going to try to solve this, but I don't think I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to get frostbite, and it's going to be really annoying. On I completely fire. forgot about that. Oh my goodness, do I even have the fuel for this? I'm just going to commit to it. Let's just see if I can solve this problem. 98%. Feels like negative 8. We have like a book or something in here maybe? Okay, we're, we're warming up. 97%. So it probably went up to 99 and then went back down. Feels like seven. We're probably pretty safe in here. Um, I just spent all my fuel to solve this frostbite problem. I think we might end up harvesting a bunch of torches. Yeah, because I'm going to be sitting here not really doing anything for a while. Let's go ahead and uh, make some water. We need that. Frostbite isn't that big of a deal. I just don't want to look at it for the rest of the run. You guys know what the deal is. Alright, let's grab this. A kilo will be nice. I still have two more cups of coffee to make, so we should be fine in that regard. Okay, that must be like a 0 0.05 or something. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's cook this. Um, I'm going to sink these up. So I'm going to make another batch of water with that. And while we harvest some feathers. So while we wait for that to be done, let's make a bandage. Oh. Found that cloth. Hmm. I'm gonna use all my cloth. I think we get mittens from the summit, right? So I just cure my frostbite risk here and then I don't have to waste four cloth. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's make the bandages. We might not get mittens from the summit, but. can't plan on that. Okay, so that's going to give me the 40 minutes to harvest one feather from this. i got to go ahead and make this climb soon. It's going to get a lot colder.
Wow, frostbite risk really has not come down much. Um... Seventy-nine. So I spent what, like an hour and a half here, and only lost twenty percent. I don't know. If we get it down to like fifty percent, that's enough to run up to the summit. Let's see how much it goes up. That's it. Seventy-eight right now. Oh, this is a small amount anyway, so in six minutes out here. Six minutes and change. <sighs> it went up 10% just for that little excursion. Brutal. Alright, well, 31 minutes, um, 18 until boiled. I think we just take that, we start a fresh batch. We move this off the fire and back on. Harvest another one of these. Let's go ahead and make both coffees. Um, that's good to go. I'm going to take this with me. And let's see, to get both of the insulations. Eh, it doesn't hurt to carry it with me, I guess. Either way. Got plenty of carry weight. Alright, let's do this. Let's grab this. Drink some water. I'm going to sit here by the fire and work on this charm again, just because I want to get this frostbite risk down. It's a little bit silly, but I probably should have just made the wraps. Um, but I gotta spend this time either here or at the summit harvesting all these ptarmigans so that I can get my items. So I'd rather save the cloth so I can make the insulation. 74%. And I have to drink both of these coffees now to make this climb comfortably. A little bit annoying, but... All right, that should be the last coffee. Yeah, okay. Let's get everything prepped then. So that'll be 11 minutes from now. That'll be ready in eight minutes. Should probably take a soup. Call it this one. That'll be enough warmth. We've still got a birch bark tea, but I really need more cans so that I can make more than one tea at a time. Okay, we finished the ptarmigan. Um, now, uh, you know what? I'm just going to harvest these, I guess. Because we don't have that many sticks. We're actually going to be in a little bit of trouble for making this fire at the summit. I don't usually like to do this. But every stick is one degree, so. And you know what? Yeah. As much as I hate to do it, we're going to jiggle these. We're going to take these. We're going to see. Can I make more water? Yeah, let's just make another batch of water. Let's um, put this down. Jiggle that. I'm going to break down a lot more of this fire before we leave, because I'm a little bit worried. This way my frostbite risk will, will go down while I'm doing all this. 
And also we'll have more sticks when we get to the summit. Okay, I don't want to take any more off than that. And so we're about ready to leave. Okay, let's make sure none of this is burning. That one should be fine in a second. Okay. Probably over-preparing, but, um... Man, I'd hate to lose all the time I put into this run so far. It's only been, what, just over an hour. It's actually kind of crazy that we got all the way here. I'm going to have to figure out how to save the game. I'll probably, um, once we're at the summit and loot everything, maybe I'll do the old uh, intentional spring. Oh, man. Seriously. That's a blizzard. So we're going to get cold anyway, so I think I just have to go now. 65%. And we need even more of these now. To stay warm up there. Alright, there's going to be a book, there's going to be some wood in the summit, there's going to be sticks outside. All we need is a fire that's just warm enough, and then we can kind of work from there. I can't believe I'm doing all of this just to avoid frostbite. What's the worst case here? Did we get frostbite? It's like, okay. Fine. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm not going to run until we get to the summit. How is my torch not blowing up? There it goes. Ow, this is silly. Need to go ahead and drink these for the warmth. Should have done that a long time ago. Let's go ahead and drink the other one as well. It's okay, I'm not really as concerned about the condition loss. It's mostly about the... Uh, okay, we go to the left here. Now we got... 75% for this climb. That's more than enough. I'm hoping that the frostbite risk won't go up as much while I'm in the uh, shelter here. Alright, let's just go right for it. We get up to this first ledge and eat our soup and um, take stock of everything while we recover some climb energy. I definitely feel like I should have just gotten frostbite. Um, if I had just done that from the start we wouldn't be we wouldn't have spent all of our fuel oh yeah it's already up to 95 percent see because now i'm gonna get it anyway and i spent all those resources man that's annoying oh well what can you do got to climb energy back yeah there it so is cold. i just want to lay down for a bit thematically you know i'm okay with it we, uh, we pulled a lot of stunts to get to where we are right now. Warming up a bit. And I'm happy to say that we didn't, uh, we didn't come out of it unscathed. <laughs> and now the trick is I just need to get enough sticks that we could comfortably stay warm in the plane. I'm 
one frostbite is eventually um, eclipsed by Welfad, right? So you don't see the red on your bar. You only see the red notification on your screen when you open your status. And we're already going to have all the other afflictions on there um, from the challenge itself. So it may not matter that much from a visual standpoint. What is going to matter is that I wasted like eight cedar <laughs> that I didn't need to. So now we're going to be in a tough spot here. Let's just uh, let's just get a quick idea here. We're at negative 42. Is it one right here? Negative 36. Hey, we got another hacksaw. So we didn't even need the hacksaw from the start. Although I guess we used it for the crates down below. Negative 42. Can we even overcome that? Do I have to... I can't use the cave. So scratch that. Um, let me just see here. We have 23 sticks. That's 23 plus... I think these give like four each. That is not nearly enough. We gotta go back out. We gotta just pick up like every stick everywhere and then come back here. I can't believe I wasted all that time trying to prevent frostbite. Got it anyway and then put myself into this miserable predicament. Okay, we need like 20 sticks. That's two, three. Might as well go over to the cave, I guess. Hello? Where is everything? There's no sticks here. Alright, so we're at three sticks. That probably counts for like four, so seven. I don't know if this is in the back of the cave. Probably not. Eight. Nine. Okay, now we're back where I started. So let's go up here. Ten. Eleven, twelve. 13. Fourteen. Fifteen. All right, now if I can figure out where I am and head back, I think we'll call it good. I don't even know exactly where I am. like 16 or something. Okay, I got all the sticks I need. Now I just need to find the plane. I keep picking them up. Oh my goodness. We're gonna get frostbite again. Just get me out of here. <laughs> okay, this looks good. Where am I? Body? Yeah, I think we're right in front of the plane. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We can do this. I actually just realized um, something I could have done before. I'm going to start the fire over here because I want to break this one crate down. Let's just do it right here. Um, book. Uh, I guess we better start the torch first. Oh, the blizzard's over. Alright, well that'll help with the temperature a lot. Come on, just let me burn the book. <laughs> fire 
Okay, there's the bug fixed. Alright, let's save like 10 sticks. That should be more than enough of a fire. Yeah, we're gonna get warm soon. Frostbite risk got all the way up to 79%. Okay, let's start opening containers, and I'm gonna start with these, because they have clothing items in them, I think. I think I can use this. Okay. A little bit better. I'm gonna continue um, cooking stuff as we go here. Let's take that. I don't think I'm out of the woods on Tinder yet. Need to open this to get the accelerant and stuff at some point. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna fight. Hey, mittens. That's what we wanted. Okay. So that's the frostbite issues taken care of. Um, put this here. Wear this on the outside. Put our ear wrap on for right now. Okay, looking good. I really need a can opener. Where can you find a can opener outdoors? I think it's just luck, right? I guess you just go forge a knife and that works. We'll probably just find an empty can before um, before that happens. This will come in handy. Ooh, double tea or um, coffee. Two coffees and a tea. That's actually really nice. Tons of coffee now. Good amount of extra food. We gotta get back and not take more damage. There's another piece of wood that would have helped. When I was trying to figure out how much I had. Looks like we unfortunately got the crampons instead of the... Uh, let's get back to the fire before we take too much damage here. Instead of the flare gun, we're stuck with the silly crampons. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this water. Or uh, get this crate opened. We'll make a fresh batch. There we go. Plenty of time on the fire. Okay. Now we can finish making this. Oh, only one accelerant. I feel like there's always two accelerant and two matches. Two boxes of matches is huge, though. We got matches for days now. Alright, we got both of those. Everything from around here. Um I think we'll just check. I'll take it. Under here when we leave. Got the fire striker. On top of all those matches. All right, I'm picking all this up, but I'll probably ditch the wolf belt. I don't have any interest in. Crafting a wolfskin coat. Even on outer. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Extra bandage is nice. I might carry some of this stuff for a while, although we're already getting heavy. Okay, so it doesn't make sense to harvest the ptarmigan here. I think I'm going to go out and get as many ptarmigan as I can. And then we'll take them down to the snow shelter. We'll sleep there and harvest them. I like the leather. Oh, two deer hides. That's nice. Have a carry weight of 13. Maybe we'll drink some coffees on the way down. Yeah, I'm gonna drop this. I guess I'll keep the antibiotics. I think painkillers... Yeah, kind of pointless. 
I'm going to really try to cut weight here. Pretty low on tender, so we'll keep all that. I think there might be a bug where you can get um, healing out of some of the recipes. Or maybe it's not even a bug, but it certainly seems like it should be since... Um, I mean, if they're not going to let you have healing from stims in the late game, then they definitely shouldn't let you have healing from the recipes. Which are even more plentiful. So I think stuff like the syrup, I'm just going to eat and not worry about saving it for various recipes. Alright, let's make some coffee. Let's make one tea for our eventual sleep. And then we'll make coffees. And do I have any more birch bark tea? Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to cook teas. How much water do I have on me? Probably use up some of this water, eat some of the heavier foods. Let's have one soda. Uh, we need to go out and get tarm again, which since I'm fully warm right now, I should probably do that now. Should be time again right at the top of this hill. Look at that temperature just peeling off of me. And what I really need to do is end this episode. Um, we've gotten so much done. The only problem is I need a save point. Where am I going to get one of those? I don't hear any ptarmigan, but I feel like they're almost always here. I don't hear them at all. Okay. Go check the other location. There's a few spots on the way down, too. Go back and get warmed up first. Maybe I'll take a tea with me this time. Oh, so cold. So they're here. They're over by the cave. Which I explored in a blizzard. And then they're over that way. That way has some teas too. So maybe I'll go over there. Grab teas and a ptarmigan. And then that'll be enough. I can get my other ptarmigan from somewhere else. There's a few spots where they spawn. I'm gonna make a birch bark tea. Okay, so let's do a final analysis here. 28 out of, we're gonna be sitting at 10 because we're 15 from exhausted and minus five from the debuff. Uh, but we can increase that with coffee. So I'll probably have a couple of coffees. I think I'll just wake up again. I think I'll just carry everything with the benefit of coffee. Fully exhausted now, exactly ten. Yeah. For that ten minutes, we're going to. Looks like a new day is dawning. Craft this into tinder. Probably won't need this soon because we're going to get cattails eventually.
Just gonna burn a bunch of these teas. Let's go see if we can get that ptarmigan. I think the key here is just to stay moving. We gotta get a lot done. So... Once I get back to the snow shelter, we can spend the night. <sighs> and by night, I mean whatever time of day it happens to be. Okay, I do hear ptarmigans, and I see them now as well. We've got some mushrooms to collect as well. Here, tarmy, tarmy, tarmy. Okay, next one that stops moving. Well, I'm kind of not in a great spot. We'll aim for... Eh, that one's fine. Perfect. Now we just have to get over there. Jesus, this is cold! Okay, so I'm happy with that. We only need one more ptarmigan, long term. We can get that from just about anywhere. Let's go and grab these mushrooms, and then we'll head back. It's a goddamn freezing. Going to be so heavy going down to. Uh... Oh yeah, that's another reason I really don't want to carry more than one ptarmigan down. Maybe if we harvest the meat off of this, it'll be a little bit later. Not even gonna bother with the rose hips. I'm not really concerned with cleaning out all the tea ingredients, because I think we're gonna have renewable birch bark tea even after the healing no longer works. I still think you're gonna be able to get the warmth buffs. So in that sense, um... I don't think cleaning out every possible source of natural tea ingredients is really going to be that important. What in the world did I do here? I, was I cooking coffee here? That was a mistake. I can't believe I thought I would be back in time for that. Somebody probably yelled at me about that. Alright, let's get this meat off of here. I already did the birch bark tea. We have a couple of her herbal tea for tonight. We're gonna eat this food. I think the peaches are heavy enough that I probably wanna eat one or two of those as well. But let's um, identify which one we wanna eat. Definitely 26% and probably that 35% as well. These are just so heavy, they need to get used. Okay, so what's left to do? Um, looted everything, got the ptarmigans I care about, got the matches and accelerant, I think we just need to grab the stuff under the plane and go, and it seems like it's good weather, so let's make some more coffee, 
I think I'm gonna save the episode do um, soon, but I'm gonna do it in an unusual way. I'm just gonna intentionally sprain on the way down the mountain. That'll create a save point. Um, and that'll give us a place to pick up the next episode. Um, I'm running out of time to record this one, so I really need to finish soon. I don't have a bedroll. I could pass time for an hour, but I don't really want to waste an hour. Got mushrooms. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm doing something useful. Keep making more coffees. Make sure that's ready. Okay. Throw this on. Okay, so basically we're ready to go. So let's heat these coffees up. Actually, I'm going to heat this up as well, just in case we want it. Probably won't. Um, we're going to take this with us. Not taking that. I'm going to go and eat this ptarmigan. I like to eat the meat from the menu because it um, warns you before you accidentally eat like raw meat or something like that. Okay, let's grab some torches. And actually, I think torches are probably the least valuable thing. Yeah. So I'm going to go down with just like four decent torches plus my... 92%. We don't need wires for anything. Okay. That's all ready. That's all ready. I'm going to eat this directly off the fire. Don't normally do that, but I'll make an exception. And I think we're ready to go. Let's grab one torch. Grab this. Grab my all-important can. All of this. I'm going to head out. We're not too slow. Level 2 cooking. We're going to get a little bit of a speed boost when we drink this coffee, which I'm going to do pretty soon here. Well, this stuff will come in handy. I'm not going to throw my crampons on because I actually want to... I probably could have left some of those shoes behind, but I'm just going to take all of them with me. At least to a point where I can collect them later. All right, let's go and drink this coffee. Okay, so that should increase my carry weight, which will give me a little bit more of a speed boost. Alright, I'm going to get down here, and we're going to try to intentionally sprain. Without taking any damage from a fall or anything. So, this is a long, steep slope. Ordinarily, I would step off to the side there to um, reset the sprain risk, but pretty soon here, we should get a sprain. Nope. <laughs> Try to do this before, too, and sometimes the game just doesn't want to give you those... Uh, Brains. Pretty funny. There we go. Alright, so that's my save point. When we pick up here, we'll continue the rest of the way down the mountain. Try not to get any more sprains so we can still sprint, because that was just a sprained wrist. Um, wow, what a crazy start. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.